Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm a board certified interventional radiologist in New Jersey. So I just finished a brutal call weekend where I worked 32 hours, two 16 hour shifts, Saturday and Sunday. I was a little tired, and then I had to basically do it all over again today because I was on CT Ultrasound and had to read CTs nonstop today. The ER was crazy, so I'm a little tired. And all I wanted to do was come home, grab my phone and just sit there and browse TikTok. However, I thought about it for a second and I said, Michael, you haven't made a TikTok reaction video in a very long time. And after all, I was the originator, the first one to do it on YouTube, first doctor to do it on YouTube, I should say. So I figured rather than just sitting alone by myself browsing TikTok, I might as well browse it with you all because I need a little pick me up. I'm a little tired. I need to laugh. I need to have fun and uh, might as well do it together. So I'm still getting over this stupid cold. So I apologize if I sound a little stuffed up. It's been like two weeks now and I literally can't get over it. So it's a new me now. And before we get into the video, make sure you stop the video or while you're watching it on your computer or TV or whatever, go to my TikTok page, hit follow, follow me on TikTok. I've been posting pretty frequently over there and uh, post some pretty good stuff. So go check it out. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do here is basically just browse like the most recent TikToks that have the most views in like the medical space. So let's do the med school search because those are always funny. My roommate called his mom to tell her he's dropping out of medical school. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do, mom. I've been studying for 72 hours eating nothing but fucking noodles just to get a 40 on my first test. Just to get a fucking 40. Do you know what what? That's so accurate though. That's so accurate. I remember my very first medical school test that I took. It was like three weeks of nonstop material just blasting me. I was like, oh my God, I've never studied this much in my entire life. How am I gonna remember all this stuff? Studied nonstop three weeks straight, like completely burnt out after three weeks. Went into the test. I mean, it was like I didn't even look at the material ever. That's how little I knew, but I studied so hard and I was like so upset and I ended up getting a 70%. So I was just on the border of passing and I was like, oh my God, this is going to be a very tough road. But eventually I learned how to study and things got easier made some study partners, figured out my study method, figured out what works for me, did a whole video on that, probably my most viewed video on my channel, link up here. And uh, yeah, it got easier after that. On to the next TikTok. This one should be good, it's a radiology edition. Well, good morning, radiology. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. Daylight savings just ended, I know how much you like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. When I leave work, it's like already minus a thousand outside. Radiology, we talked about this. Why do they always make radiologists look so nerdy? The whole point of this channel, me doing this whole channel, was so that you know that we're not all just nerdy people that sit in the dark room, but this is a stereotype and this is why it's funny. Also, he said it's negative a thousand out. That's the Hounsfield units, so that's like pitch black on a CT scan. That's his way of saying it's dark outside. That's a good joke. I'm surprised he knew that. Dr. Glaucoma Flecken. This guy's hilarious, by the way. What did I say? We don't use Hounsfield units to describe the intensity of light in casual conversation. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Well, that's not my fault. The Hounsfield scale is an internationally recognized classification. You don't say this is cortical bone weather. What do you say instead? We say it's really bright outside. That's right. Now is it time to remove your indoor sunglasses? Um, okay. It's a good first step. Why is this guy so funny? This guy doesn't miss. If you don't follow him on TikTok or he does a lot of YouTube shorts as well, Dr. Glaucoma Flecken, that guy does not miss. Everything he does is hilarious, by the way. Literally everything. All right, it's time to browse some more. How are you? Good, good. Okay. Any depressed moods lately? Why does like every pediatrician I ever went to growing up, well, I only went to one. Shout out Dr. Clemens. I digress. Okay. And how are you eating? It could be better, okay. Why is this so accurate? Are you ready? And how are the sports going? Good, okay. All right, so now we're going to listen to your heart. Normal breaths for me, okay? Good, good. Okay. It's the whispers for me, that's, that kills me. They used to always do that. I don't know why. They're so comforting though. That's such a comforting voice to walk into and you know, it's just nice. It's nice to do that. I wish more adult doctors were like this. That'd be nice. Next. It's also getting very hot in here. So the jacket's coming off. I almost knocked down my thing. 
Whew. All right, now that I'm a little freer, let's get on to the next one. I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again. Now it's my turn. You say you've always been a little bit shy. But I can put an end to your fears. Let me show you a place where you gon' want to move your feet until they start to be. DJ, take it away. Tonight. makes no sense whatsoever but it's also hilarious that picture of him on the times cover Woo! where do people come up with this stuff i wish i was this creative all right our next tiktok appears to be a patient in the hospital bed so let's see what this one holds i've been in the hospital now for seven days as supposed to only be here for three so here's a couple things that i wish i had known before i was admitted number one you never want the hot nurse okay you want the 55 year old filipino woman named cherry who has three children who has been doing longer than any doctor if you know who i'm talking about she's a legend i mean i don't care what the nurse looks like as long as they're good and as long as they're nice that's it hospitals are the least restful place in the world it's like 3 a.m mother that's actually very true because there are constant beeping alarms this that people walking in people waking you up getting your vitals doing this drawing your blood it's like constant all night hospitals are the worst place to try to get some sleep it's like 3 a.m it's round i woke up to my surgeon staring at me today. He's like, what's up? <laughs> that, that's funny because when I did surgery, my first year of residency, we would basically wake up every single patient. We'd be like, hey, hey, come on. We gotta change the dressing, we gotta change the dressing. It was like, you know, 5.30, 6 a.m. Wake them up, change the dressing. The patients had no idea what was going on. They just woke up and we we're already like all over them hovering with like 10 people in the room. So totally get that. Let's continue. Or as Theo Vaughn would say, onward. Make it your job to make the nurses and the nurse techs love you because if they don't, you hit that call button, they're not coming. Nailed that. Everyone who cooks in the hospital kitchen must be whiter than Casper because they had never heard of seasoning in this place. I mean, I don't really mind hospital food, but I also don't anticipate it to be like gourmet food. I just expect it to be terrible, and it usually is. Lower your expectations. <laughs> I've been stuck here the last four days extra because of a hospital acquired infection called C. diff. Ooh, bad hospital acquired infection. So C. diff can be an acquired hospital infection. Sometimes a lot of patients get it from use of antibiotics or intravenous antibiotics in the hospital. It kills all the normal bacteria in the gut, which allows for the C. diff spores to populate in the gut, wreak havoc, and you basically have diarrhea for many, many days. My surgeon's like, you probably already had it before you got here. So doctor's not your homie. <laughs> I love hearing it from a patient's perspective, but they're also in a unique situation because they're unhappy that they're in a the hospital. I'm curious to see what he thought like two weeks later when he got home, because you're never at your best when you're in the hospital, right? All right, here, I believe I know what we're doing in this video, but I'll explain it to those who don't. But I believe this is called a Nexplanon or Implanon, which are the devices they place in here. So let's watch the video. Let me show you a place. So basically you numb up the upper extremity skin, which they don't show, clean it off. And then you insert this device in the subcutaneous tissues and you release a little small kind of plasticky, looks like a little straw. I can't believe they don't show the rest of that. What you do is you slide that all the way in underneath the skin and then you click that thing backwards and it releases the little plastic piece, which is a form of birth control that stays in the subcutaneous tissues of your arm. And that's that. Some people love it, a lot of people hate it. If you have this form of contraceptive, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think of it. It's like super hit or miss. Then again, this isn't my field, so I don't do this anymore. I see where this is going. Take a deep breath in and out. <laughs> That's so true. I mean, I remember when I first started like going to the hospital and med school, like I'd always get done up, I'd do my hair. I mean, I still do my hair, but you know, I was like extra looking good. And then like slowly in residency, I would just like throw on like that hoodie I was wearing earlier. I'd always do my hair because I always do my hair and like wash my face and stuff. But then, you know, I let my beard grow out a little longer, be a little more unkempt, if you will. Now I try to keep it professional since you know, I'm an attending, I have to uphold the standards of an attending. So, but I also don't work as hard as I did in residency, but you should always look good no matter what.
All right, so this is a TikTok from a guy I know, Dr. Shah, and I was thinking about doing a video with him actually, because I knew him before his TikTok fame and all that stuff, but he's like blown up like crazy. So he's really found his niche and before he didn't have his niche. And you know what I always like to talk about is if you don't like what you're doing, do something else. And he is the definition of that. But I want to talk to him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Should I interview him? Also, might I add his TikToks are probably the most disgusting things I've ever seen. And I'm assuming this one is too, given how many views it has so let's watch it together all right let's see what's going on here i already don't like this because it's the foot and i don't like messing with feet it looks like they're using a curette to get a splinter out of the bottom of the foot that's not a splinter that's the whole tree but i don't understand how that just popped up like that was that in reverse? I'm so confused. Wait, so it just like popped up? A giant split? That's so weird. I've never seen anything like that. That's not as disgusting as almost every other video he posts, but that is, uh, that's interesting. Let's do one more. This was not planned at all, but this is absolutely perfect because that prior video we watched where we put the thing in the arm, the contraceptive device, we didn't get to see it. This video actually shows it, so we're gonna watch it together. We end on a high note here. I'm just taking of my birth control implant that literally just came out of my skin. See, it looks like a little lollipop stick. That's what I was trying to talk about earlier. That's what, that's the perfect description. It's like a little lollipop stick made out of plastic. And I mean, it is a foreign body. So if it gets infected or whatnot, like this one is, the body will reject it and force it out. See, I told you, some people love it, some people hate it, some people prefer an IUD, some people prefer this. It's hit or miss. All right, if you have any cool TikToks, send them my way. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. I will do more of these in the future. It's just something fun we can do together. So as always, make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you don't already, and subscribe to my channel. Just hit it, it's free. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.